What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bando Geekin, aka Bando Geeko, aka Bando back with another video. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I really love y'all boys. We going up all 2024. And I just want to say, y'all really could do anything y'all put y'all fucking mind to, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like on the real tip, bro, like this world is a blank fucking canvas. Y'all could do anything. Think of the world as like a blank fucking piece of paper that y'all could just draw on, bro. Literally, y'all could just draw anything y'all fucking want to put y'all imaginations put your thoughts into reality my nigga you know what i'm saying so that's just my little motivational speech at the beginning of the video you know what i mean so we're gonna hop straight into this reaction video apparently uh a woman uh got executed in a Mc i mean i said mcdonald's a taco bell drive through like I don't fucking know. We're just gonna see what the fuck this is, bro. I don't know why niggas is killing killing niggas in Taco Bell drive-throughs, but we're just gonna see what happens in this video. Make sure that like, comment, subscribe button, and turn on post notifications so y'all stay notified every time I upload, bro. And yeah, we're going up all 2024, 2025, and beyond. We hop straight into this video, and yeah, bro. You on this shit? I can't get a pulse on her. Can't get a pulse on the side of the neck. Like holy shit! Look at that fucking window, dude. It was supposed to be a quick trip to the Taco Bell drive through Instead, it was the last thing this Ohio woman ever did. Somebody was murdered in front of the Taco Bell and Graham Road. The gunman... Nigga, get the fuck out of here, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this nigga. Look like he's supposed to be a fucking gym teacher or some shit. Say on God this nigga don't got the gym teacher... Like, bro, he like a gym teacher, a fucking computer science teacher or some shit, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. What are you What are you doing at a, at a Taco Bell drive-thru? Doing this to motherfuckers, bro. She just trying to get her, get her crunch wrap supreme, my nigga. And you're literally just over there in the corner, probably in the bushes, bush camping like a Fortnite bot. With the AR. In the, in the bushes, my nigga. You're trying to get her crunch wrap supreme, my nigga. And you're trying to fuck shit up. What's going on, bro? Niggas is crazy. Niggas losing their marbles. Ended her vehicle, and after that, this nigga like, pulled out his illegal weapon. The reality like, is, is, criminals can get anything they want um, on the black market. It's something most of us do from time to time: visit the drive-through. But on August 14th, that decision proved deadly for 25-year-old Megan Kellerman. She was a recent wow, bro. Come on, bro. University. Just what niggas doing? Just received a master's degree in business administration this May. Before that, she'd already earned a bachelor's degree in finance and financial management services. In her free time, Kellerman was a volunteer coach for Girls on the Run Northeast Ohio, which promotes running and exercise for elementary school aged girls. Right, Kellerman bro, she was doing good shit, bro, and this little fucking cheesy fucking computer science nerd geek fucking nigga, bro. I don't even know what the fuck I just said. I ain't even curse right. But yeah, bro, this nigga bush camping at Taco Bell. You feel me? Like, my nigga, you mad as shit niggas ain't get you your Baja Blast, my nigga. No bullshit. Shorty was in the line just trying to get her fucking nacho fries. And this nigga's, you feel me? This nigga's D1 bush camper. Like, nigga, stop. You're on my dick, bro. I'm just trying to get my Taco Bell, bro. Niggas is wild. Girls ages She's helping third kids to and shit. Grade. And according to her friends, oh, bro. the runners fucking her you. as a role model. But the tragedy <laughs> of Kellerman's death, a senseless murder, still go, echoes bro. in the city of Stowe, Ohio, just 45 minutes south of Cleveland. That's where Kellerman like, visited bro, her local good, Taco bro. Bell on the evening of Wednesday, August 14th. She'd even brought her dog along for the ride, but the usual routine pickup didn't go as planned. According to witnesses, it was about 7.30 when Kellerman drove into the drive through line before another car. We've since learned that driver was 53-year-old Jason Williams. As she approached the speaker to order, Williams began honking his horn at her repeatedly and eventually even rammed his vehicle into Kellerman's car, rear-ending her. Through the speaker, Kellerman called out to the Taco Bell employee, asking them to call 911 and say her vehicle had just been rammed. But within seconds, Williams got out of his vehicle and approached Kellerman. Without hesitation, he pulled the trigger. Kellerman was pronounced dead on the scene, having died of gunshot wounds to the neck. All death stars. Bro, like, I'm just on the type tip, like, bro, what the fuck is so serious? 
like like it's never that serious gang i'm gonna keep it a bean it's never that serious to hop out your car in a taco bell drive through and up that bitch on somebody gang it's never that serious i'm gonna be honest like my nigga no crunch rap supremes making me do that no nacho fries making me do that and damn sure no fucking baja blast making me do that and Taco Bell don't even got shit like that. So I don't understand. Like, you're talking about C-level fast food here. C-level fast food here, gang. Like, you're never, you should never be that hungry, my nigga. Like, no bullshit. Like, you're losing your marbles, like, at a Taco Bell drive-thru killing this young lady. Like, my nigga, calm down. It's just a Baja Blast, my nigga. It's just nacho fries. It's just a crunch wrap, my nigga. Like, calm down senseless in my opinion right no one no one deserves to die but this one i mean there is just absolutely no motive as convoluted right as some of them are in the case holy shit about, bro your eyes are fucking like huge dude i can see in this like my nigga she's like like this is actually crazy like i just like bro calm down close your pupils my nigga holy shit it sounds to me like someone became frustrated that she was taking too long in the drive through line. It's to never that everything deep. Everything we know about the story so far, we reached out to former CIA officer and FBI agent Tracy Walder. She says this incident was almost entirely unprovoked and unfortunately is similar to crimes we've seen in the past. Yes, road rage is kind of one of the first things that nah, came to me, especially because be it honest. seems to me, based on the reporting, this is not road seen. rage, bro. This is like out, out, like this is like, bro, this is blasphemy, bro. Like, road rage, all right, a nigga might have cut you off, a nigga might have rear-ended you, okay, that's road rage, my nigga, but to be mad, that mad at a Taco Bell drive through my nigga, I ain't gonna lie, you should never, never get that mad over fast food, my nigga. It's Taco Bell. Like, come on, bro. Taco Bell? Taco Bell, bro. Literally, come on, bro. Like, that's actually insane, bro. A nigga really got that bitch said, nope. Fuck this, bro. I'm mad. I can't get my fucking nacho fries. And just hopped out the car and just, you know what? You're dead. Like, <laughs> no. This is not, like, no. Said that they heard him honking at her. So it's like, he bro. What's up? This fucking. That they didn't see, or he just know the answer to that question because that hasn't been reported but it's been reported in multiple locations bro whether bro let me tell y'all something bro she's taking long or not bro it's just taco bell it's just fast food like fuck fuck it being taco bell gang it's just fast food bro and at the end of the day this is a young lady bro i'm thinking about i'm thinking on this shit like but what if that was your mom what if that was your sister like bro I'm not gonna lie, gang. I'm crashing out. My nigga, I'm finding your addy. My nigga, I'm finding your address. I'm gonna have a bag of Taco Bell, have a bomb in that bitch. Niggas is wildin', bro. Once you open that bitch, boom. Niggas geeked. Like, bro. Cause what type of nut shit are you on, bro? You really just did that to this young lady that had all this shit going on. She just finished school. She did all this shit, bro. And you telling me you can't control yourself over some fucking nacho fries, bro? Like, come on, bro. It's never that deep, my nigga. Five crashed people, out. They bro crashed out over so some fucking nacho fries. Seem to me that this is a, a road rage, possibly unprovoked road rage incident. And Williams's actions before the shooting, like extreme honking and rear-ending Kellerman's car, could have indicated he was willing to escalate the situation. I don't mean to sound cavalier, but yes. In my opinion, if something is somebody is going to go to the point to rear end your vehicle, inflict damage on their vehicle and yours, then in my opinion, it can escalate to anything. And she did tell the drive through um, individuals, you know, to call the police when that rear ending happened. And I just think that. In my opinion, in this day and age, you cannot be too careful with drivers being aggressive. You just can't. And you have to think that it is going to go to the most horrible place, which in this case it did. Investigators have since released some 14 911 calls. Okay, about it's not even like, bro, it's not even like this shit is like Popeyes, nigga. Even that's crazy. But still, like, it's not even like, you feel me? This is like, 
some shit that's like, you feel me, all right, like, my nigga, I'm hungry as a bitch right now, like, my nigga, I'm ready to slide through on a, what's the, what's the best fast food place, bro? Think of the best fast food place, that's what I'm talking about, my nigga, it's not even like it's one of those, pla one of those places, gang, my nigga, it's not like it's Chipotle, like, bro, nigga, this is Taco Bell, my nigga, like, come on, bro, she had a lot going on, bro, she just graduated college, and this fucking nut, this fucking nut, bro, is gonna just rear end her on purpose, bro, on some crash out shit, literally. Like, this nigga's a really like a crash out, bro, over Taco Bell. And she's a young lady. Once I, I ain't gonna lie, a nigga like me, once I would have walked up to her window, bro, and I saw that it was a lady, all that, all that tough guy shit is going out the window, bro, cause you feel me? It's a fucking lady, bro. Like, what the fuck? This nigga's wildin'. Witnesses called in to report the shocking crime. No, no, the person in the car behind us. Be... Um, somebody was murdered, and the murderer just killed themselves in front of the Taco Bell and Graham Road. Whoa! The Taco Bell and Graham. Nah, bro, what? Yo, I don't even repeat what it said because I don't think YouTube's gonna like that. But if y'all heard it, he he basically, you feel me, type shit himself. But it's like, yo, come on, bro. It's just Taco Bell, gang. It's just like, I, he probably went through some other mental shit, you feel me, that we don't know about. We don't know about. But it's on a type tip like, gang, on the outsider looking in that don't know your mind, nigga, it's just Taco Bell. It's just fast food, gang. Calm down. Everybody in that motherfucking restaurant is scared as a bitch. Like you did, yeah. like you doing all um, that, bro. There was just a murder, and the murderer just killed himself in our drive-through right like, now. Holy yeah, shit! Please and fire on their way. They're gonna be there as soon as they can. Yeah, can please, I turn up. This is an emergency. Please. Here's the recording from another witness, and we have to warn you: this one is a bit more disturbing. Hey, um, I'm at the I'm at the Taco Bell on Graham Road in Hudson Drive. And a man just shot somebody and then shot himself in the head. Do you have a description? Whoa! Um, I, I, I didn't Yo, see very much. I just told him he, was, he was bald. He's, his car is in the drive-thru. I'm sorry, I'm really shaking up. Um, and he had a black shirt on. And I just I just watched him shoot himself in the head. Okay. And both subjects are still there, correct? Um, yeah, the guy is, like, dead in the drive-thru. I, I, I don't know where the other person is. But he shot somebody and then he just put the gun under his chin and he shot himself in the head. What's difficult about this case Bro. is there's no known motive. At a press conference following Kellerman's death, Officers straight up said we may never know what led up to her murder. It's also like, bro, this nigga's face is not like, bro. It's not like, bro. This nigga's literally, I'm trying to tell you, bro. This nigga literally looks like a, a computer science teacher, bro. Literally. No funny shit. Like, computer science teacher, gym teacher, nigga. Like, you're, yeah, he got one of them school book smiles, bro. Like, one of them, like, teacher smiles, like. Like a Mr. Some shit, bro. I don't know. Mr. Whittaker or some shit. Look at this nigga, bro. Because as far as we know now, Williams never had any previous connection with Kellerman. I think that makes it scarier to everyone. Um, you know, actually, we actually had this exact same thing happen that I was a witness to about a year ago. Um, on my way to my Pilates class at 5 a.m., um, there was a shooting right in front of me at a McDonald's drive through but it was a gang shooting. And so our neighborhood at first, until people could figure out what had gone on, were very, very scared because they thought that this killer who was killing random people was on the loose. It's not to say that gang members deserve to die. They absolutely don't. But when news of this came out, that this was a gang on gang violence situation, our community sort of was at ease a bit more and that people were able to say, okay, well, I'm not in that gang and I'm not in that rival gang. So therefore I could be protected. Right now, when you don't have a situation like that and it's purely a random crime, you feel like it's a free for all, that anybody could be a target at that point. And so I think that's probably why it's more scary. In a lot of these cases, one of the things that early tailgates are better with of this year. How much have you had to drink tonight? Enough to be bad? Okay.
Williams was pulled over for driving erratically, and when law enforcement approached his window, they smelled a strong odor of alcohol. He refused a breathalyzer test, but later officials determined he had a blood alcohol content of 0.199. That's basically four times the legal limit. In Damn, my vehicle, nigga. I'm not gonna lie. How the fuck do you even operate a vehicle on like that drunk, bro? I could like, my nigga, I'd be like, bro, I couldn't even do it. I'm gonna be honest, like, I've been, it's been times where I've been to a party, my nigga, you feel me, a nigga really, a nigga, you feel me, a nigga was geeked, a nigga was, you feel me, I know, I know how it feel to be drunk, gang, and I know damn well, I'm not, I don't have no type of balls to hop behind the wheel, you feel me, hell no, niggas is wildin', this nigga lives life on the edge, literally, bro, literally. This nigga's wildin', bro. And I'll be, I'll be mad as fuck. No, fuck that. I'll be mad as fuck if, if my last, if, if, if a nigga like this, if a nigga like this is the reason I'm not breathing no more, get the fuck out of here, bro. This nigga, this chunky cheese ass nigga, this nigga that go goes home and watches Game of Thrones, get this nigga the fuck out of here, bro. What? I'll be mad as a bitch. What the fuck, bro? Look at this nigga, bro. Glock 3 pistol, along with a loaded magazine. That gun was reportedly stolen by Williams himself. This chunky cheese Today's ass nigga, man. For that incident, including BAC refusal, an OVI, which is the Ohio charge for driving under the influence and improperly handling firearms. Stop the car. What are you doing? Put your hands on the wheel for me. Put your hands on the wheel. On the wheel. This nigga what said. What are you doing, sir? Yo, this nigga is wallet. This nigga said. Street. What are you doing? Fuck out of here, bro. Sir, can you answer me? Do you know why you're going the wrong way on a one way? I'm sorry. 123 radio, can I get it back? Do you know why? No. Okay. I'm Officer Hill Hudson, please. I stopped you for. A multitude of things including stopping in the middle of the road going through a stop sign and then now you're driving the wrong way on a one-way street do you have your driver's license and you know what's crazy it's crazy to think that this nigga if he would have got booked right here that girl life would have been you feel me that girl life would have been who knows bro you know what i'm saying like she would have been okay if this nigga would have just got booked right here, she would have came home with that Taco Bell. That's crazy. To, that's crazy. That's crazy to think about. Like, bro. I'll start that way as well. Where are you trying to go? Home. Huh? Home. Where's home? Aurora. Aurora? Like, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Aurora. I'm sorry. No, you said you're trying to go home to Aurora. Yes. Where are you coming from? Aurora. Okay, where did you go to? Where was your stop? <laughs> Sir. Can you answer me that? Where was your stop? My stop was Aurora. Okay, that doesn't make any sense to me. You came from Aurora, but you're going to Aurora, and your stop was in Aurora. Do you know where you are right now? Yes, I am. Where? Uh, I'm here in uh, Hudson. Okay. So like, my nigga, I'm not gonna lie, if y'all smell alcohol, bro, had this nigga been any other color, black, whatever, my nigga, I'm gonna be honest. Niggas would have straight told my, my mans, hop out the car, no question. They not talking to you through the car no more, my nigga. If, I, if, I, if it was me, my nigga, they on some shit like, yo, hop out the car, you feel me? You have the right to remain silent, my nigga, and all, the whole procedure, my nigga. They're doing the whole procedure. This nigga, they still talking to this nigga through the window as if they don't smell the alcohol through this nigga's car. Like, my nigga. And y'all sitting there just talking to this nigga, you feel me? Like, 
tell this nigga hop out the car, bro. Y'all niggas are sitting there talking to this nigga. His story's obviously not making sense. You know what I'm saying? It just don't make sense to me, bro. Here, you don't make my sense. question is. Okay, but what brought you here to Hudson? I, 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 I have no idea. You have no idea? Okay, how much have you had to drink tonight? Enough to be bad? Okay. All right, do you have the truck in park? Okay, can you turn it off for me? Yes. All right. All right, I'm just gonna have you sit right there for a second, okay? I'm sorry. All right, I'll be back to you. I'm All right, sorry. So Shut the fuck up. Jason. All right, I'm gonna have you step out for me, okay? Okay. You don't have any weapons on you, right? No, of course not. Okay, just making sure. All right, do you wanna set your phone down there and step out for me? Sure. Okay. Look at this chunky cheese fat piece of shit. Like I honestly, bro. I have no respect for this guy. Watch your step there. No, no. It's a curb. Here. Hope you trip. I don't want the piece go of on shit. The sidewalk right, right over here, okay? Okay. Is your door okay or do you want me to shut it for you? Okay. Okay. I'm good. We'll shut it for you, okay? Like my nigga. I'm trying to tell y'all my nigga. He has the physique of the average Best Buy worker, gang. The physique of the average fucking GameStop worker. The average fucking mission barbecue worker, nigga. This is exactly what, like, bro. I'm trying to tell you, gang. This nigga definitely worked at mission barbecue before or some shit like that, my nigga. Look at his whole frame, my nigga. All right, Jason. All right, Jason. Then he's digging, like, my nigga. Are you sure. digging in your ass, bro? What are you doing? Are you digging in your ass? Come on, bro. Lock the fuck in, bro. You're getting arrested, bro. Like, no, bro. You're done. You're done. You're crashing out over Taco Bell. Now you find me. You're, you're driving drunk on some crazy shit. Now you're digging in your ass. Calm down, bro. What's going on? Can you stand right here in front of me? Sure. And face toward me, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm trying to find area the flattest area hey, about it if y'all don't put this nigga in handcuffs and call it a fucking day why are we doing all this analytic shit like all this analytic the flattest area no put him in handcuffs put him in the back of the car take him to the nigga to the station bro say the nigga was drinking you feel me drinking over the limit my nigga over the bac limit like come on bro y'all doing all this all this shit that y'all would not do in a uh like, my nigga, say had I got pulled over, they not doing all that shit, bro. Find out the flattest, flattest surface. Uh. No, they're putting you in handcuffs, putting you in the back of the car, and you're out of here, my nigga. Why are y'all doing all this analytic shit now? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I don't want you to fall. I'm good. Okay. All right. You're okay right there? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. All right. I'm going to run you through some tests, okay? To see if you're okay to continue driving. 128. Okay? Yeah, I don't want to do that. You don't want to do that? No. Nope. You're not going to do my tests? No. Okay. You're not going to let me check your eyes or anything no. like that? Mm -mm. Nigga, y'all said y'all smelled the okay, alcohol so in why? the car. What else do... Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. What else do y'all need to fucking know, bro? You got to walk in a straight line, my nigga? Y'all smelled this shit on his breath. His responses are coming off as slurred and... You feel me? He's not putting together complete sentences. The nigga's just talking on some drunk shit, bro. It's obvious, bro. Like, put two and two together, gang. Y'all niggas is wildin', bro. You don't want to do that? Nope. But you don't have a reason why? No. Niggas is bugging. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. All right. Well, based off... My observations of your driving behavior, mm -hmm. my observations of your behavior standing right here, mm -hmm. and your admission to drinking more than you should have, yeah. 
I'm going to place you under arrest if you're not going to do my tests. Sure. If you're going to okay. do my tests, it'll give you a chance to show me that you're not impaired. Yeah, okay. Do you want to do the tests? No, I don't okay. want to. Okay, turn around then. So he's, yeah, okay. he's admitting it. What the fuck? She's still there. Okay. Turn your wrist for me. Just like yeah. this? Yeah. Look. Have a seat right in here, okay? Thank you. I started to. Okay. Can't even get your fat ass in the fucking car. Look at this nigga, bro. Alright, sir. All right, you're under arrest for operating a vehicle while impaired, okay? He was arrested on multiple things, driving the wrong way, uh, gosh, driving triple, the wrong a way limit of alcohol, uh, a loaded weapon in his vehicle, all of those things, watches, expensive watches, all found in his vehicle. Um, expensive why watches? Why does that matter? Bond is, is beyond me, this person. Why does his watches matter, bro? Is that a indicator that he stole them? Like, what the fuck? Like, you said his watches. Like, I'm confused, gang. Why does that matter? is a clear danger I say, um, and like one what? of those things was that he was not to own a gun that was part of his bond um and so this was an individual that was facing possibly some prison time um i don't know what his family situation was i don't know what his economic situation was but those could all be contributive factors to this spiraling i guess i hate to sound trite but you, you really can't prevent that i don't know how you would because there's an entire black market uh for stolen weapons and it's very easy to come by them particularly handguns revolvers those kinds of things the reality is is criminals can get anything they want um on the black market and so it's not surprising to me one bit um that he had a weapon which again that's why i disagree quite frankly uh with him being allowed on bond because the reality is is this Y'all gave him bond? Y'all said, oh, you're going to give this nigga bond, bro. This nigga was over the limit, over the BHC limit, OD, bro. If that was any other nigga, they would have given him a year. Like, bro, y'all dicky him, bro. I ain't going to lie. That's dicky. That's dicky. One big that surprise dicky. that he had a weapon on his person. Investigators have since said Williams was in crisis at the time of the shooting, but haven't given any more specifics. I asked Walter what this could mean, and if that could have led to Williams's decision to pull the trigger. I think, as you mentioned before, this was an individual in crisis, and what he had been arrested for in the past, I'm not minimizing it at all, but you know, it was drunk driving, it was theft, it was having a, a weapon that wasn't registered, those kinds of things. He hadn't been arrested or attempted murder, murder, battery, assault, those kinds of things. And so I think this is obviously huge escalation right in his behavior. And I think that this was his kind of last straw, if you will. I don't think he wanted to go back to prison, um, but I also think he couldn't control a lot of his thoughts um, and his emotions. And so I think part of this was feeling badly about what he did. See, I'm not going to lie, bro. Um, was the that lady that's talking over this, bro. I can get, I can actually give her a lot of respect because she put it in, she put in the situation in his shoes on like what he might've been thinking. He might've not have been able to control his thoughts. She said, you feel me? And so it just led to another thing and he didn't want to go back to jail. So he chose the other way out. You know what I'm saying? So honestly, bro, I respect her for putting the situation in his shoes and understanding like, all right, maybe he just, you feel me? But at the same time, there's no cut cards for that shit. My nigga, I ain't going to lie. They should have threw his ass under the jail. I'm not going to lie, bro. Go back to prison. Because so that's insane, my nigga. He tweaking After out William in a shot and Taco Kelly, Bell he drive. He gun nah. on himself. He shot somebody, and then he just put the gun under his chin, and he shot himself in the head. Body camera video shows the moments first responders arrive on the scene. Hey, we got let FD know. Got what? Is FD approaching? They're clear. We've chosen not to show most of the body camera video because they are pretty disturbing, but we can show you the moment first responders rescued Kellerman's dog, who was in the passenger seat during the deadly shooting. They're both victims. Oh, the one's on the ground. Come on, come on, come on. on the ground over there. 
<laughs> because of Williams' death, he won't face any criminal charges in Kellerman's death. But could anyone else? If anything, in my opinion, it would be about the acquisition of the gun. Since he is by law not allowed to have it. Um, they may, you know, trace serial numbers, trace where he purchased it from, electronic transfers, all of that. And that person could potentially be held accountable, although they're not prosecuted a lot of times. And that's obviously very frustrating. But I, I think you're right, in my opinion, the only potential lead I could see them going off of is, is the gun. So my guess is the time of day that this occurred, there's a lot of witnesses um, to interview. Also, I am certain that Taco Bell had CCTV cameras or some type of security cameras up. Like, um, I also like the dog was in a car, like the nigga, the size of the fucking hole in the window is actually insane. Cause if anybody knows anything about if you shoot through some glass, my nigga, if you if you shoot through some glass with a with a pistol, a handgun, my nigga, it's gonna leave a little ass hole in the window. It's not gonna shatter the whole fucking window. So whatever whatever the fuck he had was some big shit. I ain't gonna lie. So what the fuck? This so nigga's wildin', bro. Like it's never that deep, gang. In the phone during this incident to either contact police herself contact loved ones, contact, hey, this crazy person is behind me. I, I would not be surprised at all. Um, and I also think one of the things, because they're probably having a hard time doing this, is determining motive. Um, has he committed other crimes that they don't know about, right, that they're trying going to try to figure out? Um, or is this just sort of a one-off? And so I think the motive is, is key. And I think because I really do believe they didn't know each other, that's going to be take some time in this case. Nah, I'm going to keep we it a beam. We gonna wrap the we gonna wrap the video up right there, gang. Like I've heard everything I need to fucking know about this whole shit, bro. The nigga, the nigga just doing shit out of anger. The nigga's mad he ain't get his fucking nacho fries, crunch wrap supreme, nigga. Taco Bell don't even got shit, so I know it was never that fucking deep, gang. And as far as the young lady who lost her life, gang, like bless up. I ain't gonna lie, bless up to your family, like. You know what I'm saying? Like I pray, I pray that your family's healing through this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just crazy work. That's just crazy work, bro. It's never that deep for Taco Bell, gang. Like I have, I can't even name a time that I crave Taco Bell, my nigga. But yeah, man, fuck that shit. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. That's gonna be the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, we going crazy y'all 2024, 2025, and beyond. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, this boy Bando geeking. I love y'all, and I'm out.